You're shopping for a weed whacker string trimmer. Got a question for you. Gas or electric? These are some things that you must consider when shopping for a gas or electric string trimmer. In my experience, from here down, they're very comparable. You've got the shaft, the line, and the head. The difference, of course, comes from here up. First, let's talk about the price. At the time of this recording, both retail for around $169. Well, the gas powered that includes extra line as well as the mix of two cycle engine oil. With the battery powered, it also included the charger as well as the battery, one battery. Let's talk about fuel. With the battery powered, you put the battery pack on the charger and plug it in. This model has a charge indicator telling you how much charge is left in the battery. When it's fully charged, you take it off the charger and plug it on the unit and you're ready to go. With the gas powered, it does not include gasoline, only includes the two cycle engine oil that you must mix with gasoline. A word about fuel, I suggest that you look for and use non-ethanol containing gasoline. Most gasoline that comes out of the pump now contains ethanol, which burns hotter, which destroys small aluminum block engines. So if you want your string trimmer to last a while, mix with non-ethanol gasoline. Then you're gonna mix the appropriate amount in, with your gasoline with the engine oil. Pay careful attention that you have the right mix. If you don't have the right mix, it's gonna sputter or wear out your engine. So, you, so you've really gotta dial in the mix. If you don't wanna mess with that, you can invest in two cycle fuel. That comes pre-mixed off the store shelf. It does not use ethanol gasoline. Then you're gonna fill the tank and you're going to follow the manufacturer's instructions as far as priming the bulb, setting it to choke, in this model, squeezing the handle, pulling five times until it sputters, and then adjusting the choke again and running it. Letting it warm up and then you're off the trimming. In addition to the fuel, your area may be considering legislation prohibiting two cycle engines from running. Take that into consideration when shopping as well. Another thought about fuel, once you have the gasoline for your string trimmer, where are you going to store it? You can't just store it in the garage, maybe next to the water heater, beneath the breaker panel. No, no. Take into consideration where you're going to store your fuel. Now, if you run out of fuel with a gas-powered string trimmer, you just fuel it back up. But if you run out of fuel with a battery powered string trimmer, you have to plug it back in the charger and wait for it to charge back up, which does take, take some time. So you may want to buy an additional battery pack. They are not cheap, just something to keep in mind. So you really want to consider the needed runtime of your string trimmer. Question about maintenance. In the years that I've had this gas powered string trimmer, I've had it serviced a number of times, including rebuilding the carburetor once. I've been very fortunate with this string trimmer. I've not had to have it serviced once. These are just a few things that you have to take in consideration when shopping for a string trimmer. Gas or electric. As an added footnote, my battery powered string trimmer is not just a string trimmer, it's the Ryobi Expandit series. So it's in addition to being a string trimmer, it's also an edger and a mulcher. To find out more details about the Expandit series from Ryobi, click the image on your screen now.